I grew up in the 1950s, Blake. Uh, I was uh, in Los Angeles, uh, went to uh, junior high and high school there, uh, right near the airport. Well, from the very early time, I wanted to either go to the Naval Academy or become a doctor. I think it's safe to say that the Navy is fortunate that I wasn't accepted to the Naval Academy. So from high school on, I really uh, wanted to be a doctor, and thankfully I was able to pursue those goals. I think that as a young person, uh, I was a planner. Uh, I guess it's a control thing, uh, but I've always uh, been a planner. I will say that uh, uh, things that have personally uh, benefited me uh, were to find something to do that I really liked. Uh, they say that if you love what you do, you will never work a day in your life. Everything is fun. Uh, and I was fortunate in medicine that that was the case for me. It was a passion. I loved it. And uh, uh, it, it, was, um, it was something where I could put my hand to something and see it change. Do I consider myself successful? Well, uh, let's ask that question, what is success? I mean, is it money? Is it status? Is it power? Um, yes, I do consider myself success. I did work that I loved and uh, I, I enjoyed it every day. And I did it in the company of friends. And uh, that, to me, is my definition of success. I don't know what it is for anybody else. Um, interestingly, uh, that's not unique. Um, Sigmund Freud was asked, uh, what is health? And he said, health is work, being able to work and love at the same time. And I found that a very good definition. Uh, so for me, yes, I succeeded in finding something that I loved, and I succeeded in finding a lot of good friends and a great family. You know, I, I made the same dumb mistakes everybody makes. The biggest mistake was I was too conservative. I was too afraid of making mistakes. Uh, I, I think the biggest mistake you can make is not making mistakes. Uh, one thing I've always said is I've never learned from a good experience. It's over a life, one finds themselves having made decisions that didn't work out. And uh, uh, trust me, I made my share of uh, But I think that uh, what you have to do is try to learn. Uh, don't give up. I call it digging myself out of a hole and dig yourself out of the hole. And, and that's the only, you know, it, it's, there is no easy answer and, and obviously each hole has its own ladder. I specifically remember in seventh grade uh, realizing that from that point on everything was going to be on my permanent record. I don't know if you guys are as obsessed with the permanent record as we were in our day, but uh, uh, it was, it, it was a, a moment, an aha moment for me that I said, hmm, you better take this seriously from now on because you ain't going to be able to erase the record. It comes down to prioritizing and try to figure out what's the most important thing to do with the time you have. Well, now that I'm retired, I have the luxury of pursuing the things that I couldn't while I was working. I was ready to retire, and I, I have a wide array of interests, so uh, I have not had trouble filling up my time in retirement. Uh, that may be because I pursued other interests in the course of my life other than just work. I guess my primary activity would be uh, uh, photography. Photographically, uh, I have gone to some amazing places. Uh, so I've photographed uh, Everest at sunset from 17,500 feet. Uh, I've uh, uh, visited my granddaughter in China. Uh, uh, I am somewhat of an obsessive person, so I tend to take things further than most, I think. But photographically, 
uh, uh, I think I've gone a long way. I think we all have some regrets. Uh, I have no overhanging regrets. I don't dwell on anything in the past. Uh, uh, because I, I, to my way of thinking, what's done is done. I think planning is good. The problem there is if you plan too much and don't allow uh, new influences to change your direction, you may miss opportunities. I think everybody has to find their own way.